<laughs> Welcome again to Crank It Out Crafts and our Lay Week. And my name is Puna. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a three straw lay. Um, you can find the instructions for this in our new book called Handcrafted Lay and Flowers, Volume 11. Looks like this. And you can find it on page 34, three straw flat lay. It's going to end up looking like this, except not in these colors. I'm going to show you what we're doing. So first, we need three straws for this, and I'm using three different colored big straws that we sell. I also need pieces of grow grain ribbon. These are long enough for your lay to go on and some to tie. So I measure arm's length, and I did it for three of them, cut it up. And then the last thing, oh no, then you also need yarn. And I'm using eyelash yarns called Nunny, which is a sparkly orange, and Nohea. And this one is a short lash solid. And then we need scissors and scotch tape. So we're going to put, first thing, put our ribbon into our straw. And if you watched last week, uh, last episode, I used little clothespins. Today I'm going to be using these, well, today I'm going to be using scotch tape. I'm just going to tape it on really fast. So we have to do that with all three of these ribbons. So make sure that each straw has a ribbon in it. Because if you don't, then one part of your lay is just going to fall apart. So we need a ribbon in each straw. This is my last one. And you can use something like, like the loop turner, turner or something like that to add to thread your ribbon through your straw. But most of the time, like with these straws, it's big enough that you you won't have to use anything else to thread. It goes in pretty easily. So I have three straws. We're going to start by tying our yarn around our ribbons and they get tied together. So I have, I'm just going to do a double knot and again I'm going to leave some at the end here like about six inches or so. So later on when we finish up the lay, we're gonna use that to, to finish and tie. And now we're gonna start with our wrapping. So with three straws, I'm doing two, we're doing flat lay, so we're gonna have orange on one side and blue on the other. And just like our two straw lay, we're gonna start wrapping in figure eights. So I'm gonna wrap a figure eight I'm going to wrap two figure eights with each color. Let's do it with the blue. So the figure eight again is behind this one straw and around the front and then behind the other straw. And the beginning of your next figure eight, make sure you bring it around to the front of that straw. So two figure eights for each color. So I have two figure eights on the two straws on the left with my orange and two figure eights on the two straws on the right with my blue. So here's a figure eight, one and two, and then we switch to the blue, one and two. And that is how you are going to complete your lay. So keep doing this, two figure eights for each color and the colors are going to stay on their corresponding straws. So the orange is always on straw number, we'll say straw number one and two. And the blue is always on straw numbers three and four. And if you notice, sorry, two and three. <laughs> and if you notice that each, the middle one, they're both wrapping around the middle. So you're going to have a mix of color here. When your lay comes out, it's going to be orange, mix, and blue. Okay, so what we did was just continue on with the lay a little bit. Um, I did want to make one uh, little tip. I did want to give one little tip that I forgot to say last time, that when you have your enough ribbon, or sorry, enough yarn on your straws, and you go to push everything down onto your ribbons you can kind of 
push things down, but don't push the yarn completely off the ribbon. If you leave, you always leave a little bit of yarn left on your straws, because if you don't, then you end up having kind of big spaces in there. So just keep that in mind. And um, I just went through a little bit more to kind of give you an idea of what it's going to look like when it is completely finished. So we have yellow, I mean, orange on one side and blue on the other, and a little bit of mix in the center there. And you're going to finish this layoff the same way that we did the other ones by tying that loose end and then the other loose end to your ribbon. And that's going to anchor your lay in place. And that's going to be it for today. Thanks again.